So welcome back to Blake's Den. Today I'm working on my 1997 Rover Mini Cooper MPI. So a couple of weeks ago I did a video saying how uh, I went to get the car out of lockdown and the clutch wasn't working, the hydraulic clutch, really spongy and it leaked some fluid, as you can see on the floor. Uh, so I topped it up and bled the system, took it for a test drive and all was well. And then about three weeks later I went to take it out again and the same thing had happened. So um, yeah, it's not a self-fixing car unfortunately. So I've had a look and yeah, the clutch slave cylinder is leaking and needs replacing. That is somewhere down there. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up in the clamp and I'll show you in a bit more detail what the problem is and what I'm doing. So you can just about make out the uh, clutch slave cylinder down there. You can see the rubber boot on the end, the activation arm, so that activates the clutch and then you've got a little rod comes out and, and um, acts as the piston. So um, I did have some paper towels down there and the little thing has been leaking out. So pretty confident that the seal's just gone on that. It's a, I think it's the original item, it looks like it's an AP one, so um, I think it's original, so probably just worn out. Um, I'll actually show you on Project Designer, sporting its new wing. If you haven't seen that video, check out the link above. So the same part here, it's, it's a lot easier to access and, and see. So um, there you go, that's the, uh, the slave cylinder. And you can see, see the arm at the bottom and the actuating rod. So apparently it's quite awkward to get out on the MPI. You need to unbolt this and then move it along and rebolt it using one bolt on the opposite hole. And then that allows you to undo the flexible pipe on the back. So, um, right, let's get some tools and get a start on that. So actually, just a quick word before I do start undoing it. Uh, I've moved the ECU out of the way. That's fairly easily done. It's just one little uh, bolt, hold it in place, pulled it out. And I've also taken the, uh, the air cleaner assembly off. You probably don't have to do that, but as I was inspecting the system, I was trying to look for leaks, so I've taken that off, that's just three screws, fairly easily done. So I'm now going to try with a socket, one of a long extension on the universal joint. There we are, Let's see if this will undo now. Yeah, that's going, I think. Trying to minimise the angle of the universal joint, stop it sort of coming over. Yeah, that's good now. It'll be quite a slow process to get it undone, but um, yeah, definitely, definitely turning. So, right, I'll get that undone. So I've tried getting the back bolt out, but it's not happening. In fact, I ended up doing that, which was uh, which was not fun. But again, if I jump over to Project Designer. You will see that uh, it's actually on a mounting bracket. So I'm thinking about trying to take that bracket off now instead. Sort of three bolts hold it in. I think it's just easier to access. So I'm going to try doing that now. Success. So that bracket is now loose. So I'm hoping that if I then wiggle the whole assembly the, the piston, no, sorry, the actuating arm will come out the front so that stays connected to the, the clutch fork. And then I should be able to get the cylinder in a position where I can then detach the hydraulic line which goes to it. Right, I'm hoping you can see this. Again, access is not great to video with it. So now I can grab this and pull out the arm. There we are, so the arm's just popped out now. So then I can get this ugh, into a better position, hopefully, where I can either undo that other bolt or I can then disconnect the hose which goes into it. Yeah. This is awkward. So I can see that other bolt now, down there. Feeling for the hose. All right, so I've got the hose connection. Is where I'm wiggling my finger. It's there. Um, see, when I take that off, 
it's going to start leaking fluid everywhere. So I think I'll get some cloths down there and we'll try and crack that, um, crack that open. So I've finally managed to get the offending item out. So there was a banjo bolt goes through there for the hydraulic fitting, 17 mil head. And then those were the two bolts hold it onto the backing place here. So that was something like that. Um, I think I'll clean up that place before I put it on. And yeah, I thought I'll probably rebuild this, but not straight away. I've got another one bought ready to go on. So yeah, refitting is the reversal of removal, but I will actually put that plate on first and then mount this for the proper way. Um, yeah, it's looking a bit worse for wear, so it's probably a job I need to do in any way. So I've had a bit of a fail. The um, new clutch cylinder hasn't turned up yet. So I'm going to fit the, um, the bracket. I've just thrown a load of hammer right on it and uh, give it a very very quick clean up beforehand so I'm going to stick this back on the car and then I'll be ready for when the um, the, uh, the new clutch cylinder turns up hopefully on Monday well getting this bracket on has been a royal world of pain um, I put it in the engine bay it dropped fell to the back couldn't get it out in the end, I dropped the wheel and removed part of my sump guard. Well, not part of my sump guard, just, just one bolt to prise it out to get it out the bottom. So, yeah, not the best thing to do, but the bracket had to come out because I couldn't get the nut undone. So, it's done now, we just need to fix it. But the good news is it's now Saturday and the shiny new uh, master, sorry, slave cylinder has turned up. So, I'll be able to get that fitted. Quick update, that is in, sort of very loosely, you've got to put the arm back into the sort of the, the piston bit, the rubber cup, before you butt it in position. I've still got to get the pipe on. I tried bolting it like offset to one side, so the left hand hole was in the right hand hole, and tried doing it that way, but the pipe didn't seem long enough to reach, so... Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But, uh, I'm not going to be able to film it because I can, can't even see what I'm doing really. So <laughs> you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. But essentially, I've just got to put the, uh, the pipe connector back on the banjo bolt back in. Well, that's in and connected up. I'm not going to lie, it was a complete pain to do. Um, the back bolt, which holds in, it's almost impossible to tighten up. I had to use two universal joints and three extensions to reach it. And the front bolt um, was fairly easy. The uh, line on the back, really difficult to do as well. So I um, nipped it up best I could. I uh, actually did it whilst the whole thing was loose and just held it in my hands. I also put some new copper washers either side of the, um, the connection. So. Hopefully they'll seal quite nicely. So now I've just got to get this all bled and put back together. I've bled the clutch slave cylinder. I've left it overnight with some paper towels around it and they are bone dry, which is good. Uh, I also noticed it wasn't sitting right. It wasn't sitting flush on this backing plate. And the reason was the hydraulic line which comes in was a bit of an angle. And I was actually fouling this plate, so I managed to get a screwdriver in from behind and just sort of lift it back up in the right position so it's sitting flat. But just to show you that working, so I've got a really positive feel now on the clutch pedal, and yeah, that all seems to work. So just need to get all the other bits back into position. Well, it's all back together and running now. So uh, let's take it out for a test drive and see how she behaves on the road. So for a test drive, see how it goes. Yeah, absolutely fine. No problems at all. 
So that's a test drive successfully complete. Everything seems to be fine with it. So hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, remember to leave a comment and remember to press like. I love that uh, interaction. A few guys out there knowing that you're watching my videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe either, then you'll get notified of the latest videos coming up. And also, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram, at Blake's Den. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.